it is finally here inside of go high level you can now trigger automations based on instagram and facebook comments on your posts now this has been something i've been waiting for for a very long time this basically means you can get rid of third-party tools like many chat so now if someone comments a specific phrase inside of one of your posts you can trigger automations to send things like a DM. You can also send links inside of it as well. So I'm absolutely pumped this is out. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how exactly to set that up step by step. It is really, really simple to do. So let's get into it. The first thing we wanna do is go inside of your Go High Level account. And the first thing to check is that your Facebook and Instagram accounts are actually integrated. And to do that, come to settings and then go down to integrations inside of your sub account and you will see here in this particular instance i have the selected page creator mvp connected which is this instagram account here now for this example i've actually just added a simple image and if i click on the image it says here check out this new epic template if you want it for free comment the word flower and i'll send it over this is the flower of life just for reference so what we're going to do in this tutorial is actually set it up so if someone comments the word flower i will automatically reply to the comment and i will automatically send them out a dm as well very very cool stuff so the first thing to do once you are integrated to your instagram and facebook account is simply come to the automations tab and inside here we want to create a new workflow i'm going to just start from scratch so go ahead and open a new automation now, once this is loaded, I always like to rename my automations so I know exactly what they are. So I'm just going to call this um, IG comment flower. Okay, so if someone comments flower, I know exactly what has triggered that. Now, when it comes to add new trigger, what we want to do is scroll down for this example. Once again, I'm using Instagram, so I'm going to type in Instagram and you can see we have here comments on post and it's in currently beta, but it's worked perfectly for me every time. Now you can also rename this. So once again, I'm going to say inside here, comment flower. Okay. And then under filters, you want to choose pages and then it's your account that you've integrated, which this one's creator MVP post type is publish post and post is and we actually get to select all of the posts inside of our account so choose the one that you want to actually trigger that particular one so i'm going to choose this one okay and i'm going to add one more filter so click on filter and what i'm going to do is go exact match and this time i'm going to type in flowers okay so this basically means that every time someone goes on my creator mvp instagram account if they go on a published post and this is the exact published post i want them to trigger and if they comment the exact word flowers like i have mentioned and i'll just triple check that that's right it's actually flower so make sure if you're using exact match that it's exactly right if you choose contains then it's just if they've got an entire sentence as long as it has flower in it it's going to trigger and go and click save trigger now what we can do if we want to engage with our audience we can come down here and click on the plus and we can uh, put inside here comment and it says here reply in comments so basically what's going to happen if they send a comment that says flower we can actually reply to them and that's going to look more natural so inside here it says create multiple comments to be sent randomly as comment replies and basically what this means is you can have multiple different comments and instead of just sending one of the same comments every single time you can actually rotate it so it looks a little bit more natural as well for this example i'll just put in a simple comment just so we can uh, keep this moving so i'm going to say hey um, I can definitely send that to you. Go ahead and check your DMs, okay? Real simple. So once we do that, we can also like the comment if we want just to keep engagement nice and high. Go ahead, click save action. And now as soon as they comment, we're actually going to go ahead and reply to that comment. Now what we can do is click on the plus one more time and I'm going to put inside here, Instagram DM. So if you search DM, it will appear. Choose DM. And what we can do inside of here is actually formulate a DM to give them the info that they need. So what I'm going to do is say, hey, um, thanks for showing interest in the flower of life template I created. You can download it here. And then I'm just going to put inside here my website homepage. Okay. 
something like that. Obviously you would put in your landing page. This is just to show you a clear example and go and click save action. Very simple. We've actually automated the entire process. So what I'm going to do right now is just click on publish, click on save, and now we can go ahead and test this brand new automation. So I've got my creator MVP account logged in right here, but what I'm going to do is come inside of a, another account that I have and I'm going to search my account. So creator underscore MVP. Okay. So this is from a potential visitor to your site, a potential follower, things like that. If I come to the post that I've created the automation for, if I go ahead and type in the word flower, let's see what happens. So click post. The comment has been added. Now it is going to take up sometimes up to a minute to actually trigger, but let's just have a little play around and see what happens. So I'm just going to click on refresh. Okay. So nothing has appeared just yet. You can see it's still very early in the automation. If I come into the account itself, I've actually just got some notifications going on my arm. So I'm just going to re uh, refresh this one more time. You can actually see the reply has been added. Hey, I can definitely send that to you. Go ahead and check your DMS. Okay. And if I go to messages now, if I go to requests, you can see here, this automation's worked perfectly already. Hey, thanks for showing interest in the flower of life template I created. You can download it here, right? So here is the link that they can go and get it. If I click on accept and click on primary. Okay. Then this is good to go and you can see it loads the full template. So we've already automated the entire thing. It's just taken a few seconds, but let me show you something cool as well. If I come back into my context, uh, I'm sorry, conversations tab. And if you go to the all tab, you will see now here, there is actually the whole conversation as well. So you can actually go ahead and reply to this person inside of your conversations tab as well. And I'll just say, did you um, get it? Okay. Question mark. Right. And I'll send that DM. Now, if I go back to my other account as well, just to see if it's come through, you can see that this conversation is now live inside of the conversations tab. So that's as simple as it is literally within a couple of minutes, you can automate your own Instagram comment triggers inside of your automations. So you can just automate your entire life. This once again, replaces the need for mini chat. And this is just going to help your conversions so much better by putting these types of calls to actions in your post. Thanks for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.